Hi everyone, welcome to Chris BI. My name is Chris Wagner, and today we're going to be talking about migrating from SSAS all the way over to AAS and the things you need to make sure you have this all set up for your enterprise deployment. Boom! All right, let's jump right over into it. I want to, I can't wait to run you through all the things necessary to get this set up right. Okay. One of the first things you're going to want to make sure is you've gone out into uh, the portal.azure.com, you've gone into your tenant, and you've stood up an analysis services. Now, straight up, these are some of the most expensive services out inside of Azure, so make sure that you're getting the appropriate size. You don't want it to be too big. You don't want it to be too small. Uh, make sure that you get the right place for it. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go over to... Bum, 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 bum. Uh, and the reason I, I say you should start this earlier than later is because um, it can take a little while to spin up the resource. It's not too too long, but you'll see how quickly um, uh, how how quickly you can get this up and running once you get Tabular Editor. Okay, so here's Tabular Editor. I'm going to connect to my model that I, I want to migrate. I'm going to click Connect. I'm going to click OK. Uh, there's some limitations on which models you can do this on, uh, what level. I think, you know, it's 1,200 or higher or 1,500 or higher. I don't know. Uh, but you really want to get off of those SSAS servers, get out of dealing with upgrades and all that garbage. Getting out to analysis services is awesome. Tabular Editor makes this migration super, super easy. All right. In order to do this, uh, here is where I need to have my copy to clipboard. I'm going to go back over to uh, my tabular editor. I'm going to go to deploy. I'm going to get a nice little GUI that's going to pop up asking me where I want to deploy it to. I'm going to choose my uh, Azure instance that I just identified. It's going to prompt me to sign in. I'll sign in. And now I'm going to uh, give it a name. So this is my Kratos BI data underscore AAS. All right, next, next, deploy, boom. All right, so my deployment is successful. That's awesome. Uh, big thing I'm going to want to do out here is I'm now that this is up, I want to make sure that I've gone out and I've established my analysis services gateway. Uh, again, information on gateways, uh, you know, getting those set up and installed on your system, uh, I'll post down below. Uh, but once this is all configured, I'm all set to and, and ready to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my overview and I'm going to grab my my server instance name. Now, please note, it's really important not to grab the RW in this situation. But I'm going to grab this server. I'm going to bring come over to here. I'm going to go over and I'm going to go get data. I'm going to choose analysis services. I'm going to plunk in the name of my analysis services. And in theory, I could just click OK. I'm going to choose my Microsoft account. I'm going to sign in. I sign in. Uh, sign in to it. Save it. It's going to allow me to choose my uh, database. Click OK. It's going to make all of my uh, database connections and go to File. Save as, and now I'm going to call this one my AAS data set. I got this guy saved. Now I'm going to publish this up to my, my workspace, and this goes into my demo data set. And da, 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 we're going to see this appear right here very soon. Come on, drum roll. Boom. There we go. Now I've got both of these out inside the service. Uh, because I've configured my gateway on my analysis services side, I don't have to configure a gateway uh, for the data set that's out here. All right. Uh, you might be asking, hey, Chris, why don't I just use strings for both of the you know, URL strings? Uh, you don't want to use server connection strings for either one of these. Uh, and we're going to show you why inside the next video, uh, especially if you're already on one of these and you're going to be migrating uh you want to you don't want all your reports pointing to specific strings because then you got to go and change each one of your reports if you haven't pointed to data sets all you have to do is upgrade the data set and then you're good to go all right so that's this one 
Okay, thank you so much for joining me as I went through how you configure analysis services data sets out inside the Power BI service. I really appreciate you, uh, you know, joining me today. If you like this content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on alerts, and email this link out to wide. Uh, send it out to everyone. And, oh, if you have questions, leave a comment down below. I uh, love helping people out, and I love building a community that helps people out. All right, you guys have a great day. Peace.